Hello children, welcome back. So today we have come back with another chapter in your English literature. Um, today we are going to start with a new poetry. The other day we had done a story uh, which was the class play and today we are going to explain the next poetry which is Betty Botter bought some butter. Alright, so now this is a very interesting thing because this is also easy also. This is very interesting. Why? Because see, this is a tongue twister. See, it is written out here. I don't know whether you can see it from here, but you can definitely open your books and see it from there. This is a tongue twister. And what does a tongue twister mean? Do you know? Well, a tongue twister is a phrase or a sentence or some group of words, uh, continuous sentences, which when we are going to talk in uh, a continuous speed, we are unable to recite that. All right. And why? Because this is very uh, problematic. And the reason behind that is um, the words are almost similar. All the words are almost similar. And that is why our pronunciation when we are doing it in a very um, fast manner, in a very uh, quick manner, we are unable to pronounce the words properly. So let's move on to the poetry. So we are going to read the poetry in a great speed and we are going to try whether we and see whether we can actually read a tongue twister. So let's move on. Let's start. So Betty Botter bought some butter. Betty Botter bought some butter, but she said this butter is bitter. If I put it in my batter, it will make my batter bitter. But a bit of bitter butter will make my batter better. So she bought a bit of butter better than her bitter butter. And she put it in her batter and the batter was not bitter. So it was better. Betty Botter bought a bit of better butter. Yes, this seems very confusing. I know I can understand this. A tongue twister genuinely is very confusing. Uh, understanding a tongue twister is very difficult. So um, I have come up with a very interesting way of explaining the um, whole poetry to you uh, using some audio visual methods. Um, if you keep on watching the video, if you continue watching the video, I guess you will like it. So uh, let's not waste any particular time and let us quickly move on to what uh, our explanation would be. But before this, uh, I would want you all to try this at home. So your task for home is try this, record this and send it to me. So let's start the explanation. Betty Botter bought some butter. But she said this butter is bitter. If I put it in my batter, it will make my batter bitter. But a bit of better butter will make my batter better. So she bought a bit of butter better than her bitter butter and she put it in her batter and the batter was not bitter. So it was better Betty butter bought a bit of better butter. So now explanation time children. So see Betty butter is buying something from the grocery and what does she buy? She buys a bit of butter. Right? Right. Now when she comes home and checks the butter she sees that it is bitter. So now she thinks that if she puts it in her batter cake batter or something it will make her batter bitter. Correct. So, but if um, she puts a bit of better butter in the batter, then it will make her batter. Batter means something which we use to make cakes or something like that. So, it will make her batter better. Okay. Uh, which means if she puts a little bit of good butter in it, which is not bitter, then the batter will also be not become bitter. It will remain sweet. Now again she went to the grocery because the batter, butter was not good. So to buy a bit of butter. Okay she again bought a bit of butter which was better than her bitter butter. Bitter butter means the butter which was not good in taste. It was bitter in taste. You know what is the meaning of bitter I guess. So that is what it is and um, that is why she went on to the grocery to buy a bit of better butter means a uh, butter which does not taste bitter and then she put it in her batter then what happened she put it 
the butter in her batter and the batter was not bitter after tasting she did not find it to be bitter so it was better betty butter basically the girl's name about whom the poetry is is betty butter and she had bought a bit of butter okay so um, yes and now she has become a very good person because she had bought a nice and good fine butter for her batter okay she understood that that butter will not be good so she had bought a good butter and now she bought a bit of better butter so this is the girl who has bought a bit of better butter a uh, sweet and nice taste tasty butter which will make her batter the cake batter or whatever batter it is uh, feel or uh, taste good okay see when you use a bitter taste uh, something which has a bitter taste will make the whole food that you make bitter so that is why she is better out here she is told better body butter all right so what did we learn in the story children in the story in the poem sorry in the poem we have learned that there's this girl who is betty butter and she has bought some butter which was bitter in taste and she used it she was going to use it in a batter cake batter or something to make some delicious food but when she tasted it it uh, tasted very bad and she what did she do she genuinely went on to uh, buy a good butter which helped her to make a and delicious food so uh, that is why she was smart and she was called better body betty butter and that is why she was called that and yes now there's no nothing wrong with her batter and she can make delicious food so this is basically um, not a very meaningful kind of poem it is just a tongue twister and now you know what a tongue twister is so this is very easy and there is no such problem in this poem so now children i hope you have understood the poem and if you have any confusion regarding anything please let me know through the comment section also your notes will be ready by the next day and you'll be getting it uh, soon enough um till then take care and keep learning i want you all to read this poem very nicely mug it up because this is a tongue twister and this might come in your oral so yeah um nothing else to say you people enjoy your holidays and keep learning all right till then take care bye bye lots of love